Hey, Andy. Why aren't you eating your cereal, bro? I'm a lizard. Lizards don't eat cereal. Well, here. Here's some dead flies. Now you're talking. Is there anything else that I can do for you? Yeah. There's a science fair next Thursday, and I want to win. Andy, lizards don't do science projects. They are science projects. Not anymore. Will you help me? Yeah, sure. You know what? We'll blow up a balloon, rub it on your hair, a little thing I like to call static electricity. Debbie Miller's doing it. Okay, how about the uh, baking soda and vinegar volcano? Donnie Warren. What's left? Cold fusion? Jimmy Chang. Fine. Really? You don't think this shirt's too blousy? No, but I'm not really sure that your shoes match your purse. Why are we having this conversation? Johnny Romano, the best quarterback in the entire state, is transferring to our school. I'll be sitting right next to him in homeroom. Roman Romano? Oh, I see. So you want to look your best for a guy named Johnny? Oh, no. Oh, yes. I just need to look like the kind of guy I can hang with. Although there's no reason why I couldn't be his new friend. He's new, so he'll need one. Hi, Matt Roman. Johnny Romano's best friend. Hey, I didn't catch you at Johnny Romano's party. Oh, you weren't invited? I'm sorry, I'm his best friend. <laughs> hey there, aren't you one of Johnny Romano's nameless, faceless suck-ups? <laughs> so you think I got a shot? I mean, how do you get to be friends with a guy like that? Matt, I've been the new guy plenty of times. All you have to do is just make him feel welcome. Just walk up, extend your hand, and say something like, uh... Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you? Nice to meet you. That's all I have to do? Well, you could try giving him a nice blousey shirt, but I'd go with nice to meet you. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you. Joe, if you didn't know, how old would you say I was? Claire, I do know, and I'm still saying 18. Thank you. But if I'm 18, how do you explain the fact that I just found a gray hair? Where? Growing out of my head. <laughs> That was my first reaction, too, but I'm not going to drive myself crazy over it. That would be silly. All I'm saying is I am too young to start coloring my hair. <laughs> start? I'll have you know blonde is my natural color. Now so is gray. Wow. She's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I, I just got to be near her. To touch her. Oh. Hi. That is a beautiful car. It was, before I hit that stupid thing in front of the school. A curb? A student? No, a speed bump. But thanks for your help. Christy Eastman. Joe Roman. Oh, it's okay. I'm not afraid of a little grease. Well, let's take a look at the problem. Oh, Joe. A 47 MGTC? There's only two of these in all of Philadelphia. Only two? Well, maybe we could get them to mate. Hey, that's funny. Really? I try to make jokes all the time, but usually no one ever laughs. Except the servants, and that's because they just want to keep their jobs. <laughs> you really want to work on this car, don't you, Lloyd? More than anything. You got it, man. Oh, I better go scrub up. This could take a while. Well, I should let you get back to work. Do you know of a nice place around here I could just grab some lunch? No, but, um, you know, I know a lousy place where I could buy you lunch. That sounds wonderful. And, um, if that goes good, I know a really crummy place where I could buy you dinner. I'm listening. And who knows, if that works out, I know a real dive where I could buy you breakfast. Let's take it one lousy meal at a time. <laughs> Matt Roman, nice to meet you. Hey, 
Hi, Matt Roman. Nice to meet you. What'd you say? <laughs> nothing, nothing. No, what'd you say? Did you say nice to meet you? It may have sounded like... What are you, the school welcome wagon? The nice to meet you boy? Hey, you guys hear what this geek said to me? Say it again. Say nice to meet you. Children, children. I'd like to introduce you all to our new principal, Mr. Levenstein. I hope you'll make him feel welcome here. Nice to meet you, Mr. Levenstein. Well, it's nice to meet you, young fellow. Mrs. Kenderson, who is this fine young man? There's nothing a stranger likes to hear more than a friendly voice saying, nice to meet you. <laughs> I'll get right on it. Lou, when can you get started on that Chevy? Claire, I can't even get it on the lift until Joe finishes the Studebaker. When Joe gets back here, he better have a real good excuse. Hey, we went bowling. <sighs> can't argue with that. <laughs> I knew that if I hung out with Joe long enough, I'd end up in the gutter. <laughs> Relax, Lloyd, you already got the job. Joe. Listen, I think it is really sweet of you to be taking the time out to help the overprivileged, but now I'm doing two jobs, yours and mine. Yeah, it was my fault. I kind of lost track of time. Oh, well, you might want to try a digital watch. They're easier to read. <laughs> so, when you decided to stay and help out with the garage, we took on a lot of extra work. Now, maybe I just didn't make myself clear, but you might actually have to do some of that work. Bowling is work, Claire. Did you ever try to pick up a 7-10 split? <laughs> Claire? Bunny? Little, Little bunny foo foo hopped in the forest. You can never feel like hopping on the head. <laughs> bunny? I used to babysit this one. I called her Bunny because of that song. Gee, I wonder why they call her Bunny now. <laughs> and I used to call you Aunt Claire because you were like a second mother to me. Actually, you were more of a second mother than my second mother. <laughs> Actually, I really wasn't that much older than you were. Well, you graduated high school and... You... How was your brother? <laughs> Fabulous. Married, three kids. Sold his company, retired to a huge mansion in Barbados. Retired? Well, he is almost 40. <laughs> <sighs> Miss Eastman, I'm afraid I have some bad news about your car. I'm gonna have to keep it for a few days. Oh, well, that's okay. I have other cars. It'll take a year. <laughs> a few days. Trust me, Miss Eastman, I'm going to take good care of your car. When you drove in, it was love at first sight. Sometimes it happens. <laughs> so Christy's dad let me drive his Bentley. Do you know that you can turn on the jacuzzi from the car phone? <laughs> anyway, the house is amazing. You guys should see it. I have. Oh, that's right. I forgot. You know, it's just so hard to imagine you rich. We're rich? <laughs> well, we're not money rich. We're rich because we have each other. Do I look like I was born yesterday? <laughs> Best of all, they have this maid that serves you dinner one course at a time, whisks the plate away the second that you're done, and serves you another. Imagine that. <laughs> oh, I really had a great time. I hope you remember to say nice to meet you to everybody. What's that supposed to mean? Your brilliant advice for Johnny Romano. What, it didn't work? No. <laughs> Thanks to you, I'm the laughing stock of the entire school. Everybody's calling me the nice to meet you boy. He did make Iris Stolzer one happy guy, though. Who's Iris Stolzer? He used to be the least popular guy in school. <laughs> Yesterday, he walks up to me and says, Hey, Matt, nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm being mocked by Iris Stolzer. Does life get any lower? Did you know that we're poor? <laughs> Matt, you must have done something wrong. I did exactly what you said. I turned to Johnny, stuck my hand out and said, Nice to meet you. You said it like that? Yeah, how else? Nice to meet you. Yeah, see, now that, <laughs> that is good. Matt, you came across like a wimp. So what you're gonna have to do now is stand up for this guy. Let him know that he's not better than you are. But he is better than me. That's the whole point of sucking up. <laughs> you have to earn his respect, Matt. What does he look like, one of those big Coke machine type guys? Yeah, yeah. All right, then when he insults you, you say something like, well, at least I have a neck. At least I have a neck. <laughs> Joe, don't forget, we guaranteed Mr. Wiederman his Mustang on Wednesday. Look, I'll get that all done right after I'm through with Christy. Joe, you've got to face reality. The fact is, you cannot work and see Christy at the same time. Claire, I have my priorities straight. Oh, 
I had no idea working could be this much fun. No one in my family's ever done it. But how'd they get rich? Same as any other great American family. Grandpa was a crook and all his sons were lawyers. <laughs> is it me or is this really, really good? Oh, it's you. And it's really, really good. So, if you finish all your work tonight, does it mean that you could be really, really good this weekend? Maybe. Great, because I'm going to a wedding and I'd really love for you to come with me. Well, where is it? Palm Beach. Palm Beach? Christy, I can't go to Florida this weekend. We're way too busy. Oh, please. You don't know what it's like being a single girl in a room full of Kennedys. <laughs> Babe, I can't. Okay. Well, if you can't, you can't. I'll see what I can do. So, Claire, you think the two shirts will be enough? They are if you're coming back Sunday night. Look, I promise I'll be back on Sunday, okay? And Monday I'll put in a double shift and we'll be all caught up. I know. Now look, I don't want to come off looking like an idiot, all right? So uh, tell me again about the forks. All right, you start from the outside and you work your way in. Is that all? Oh, yeah, and you use the pointy end. <laughs> so, you a little nervous? Well, a little, you know. It's just I've never really been around the really rich before, so... <laughs> Yeah, sometimes people with a lot of money act very strange. I know. I watch hard copy. <laughs> so, tell me what Christy was like as a kid. Bunny always got everything she ever wanted. So if that meant a chocolate shake at midnight, she got it. A new car when she was 16, absolutely. She never had to work a day in her life. Traveled first class all around the world. Stop me when I start to sound bitter. <laughs> Joe, say something real mean to me. Get out of here, you little twerp. I'm talking to your mother. Yeah? Well, at least I have a neck. Thanks. You are so good to him. Why are you going to Palm Beach? I'm going to a wedding. Are you going to marry Christy? No. Why not? We be rich. Andy, why do you want to be rich all of a sudden? Because if I don't get a science project, I'll flunk out of school. and never get a job. Which is fine if you're rich. <laughs> I promise I am not going to flake on you, pal, okay? I will have something as soon as I come back. What? I got a few ideas. Like what? Like, uh, Andy. <laughs> I got this great thing with a uh, feather and, and a fan. You got nothing. <laughs> Claire, thanks for letting me have the weekend off. I know it's a bad time to leave. Oh, no, that's okay, Joe. I think this is a very dignified way for an older woman to spend her declining years. Besides, who could turn down a free weekend in Palm Beach? With the bunny. You know it's not about the free trip, right? Yeah, I know it's not. The Eastmans are very attractive people. Remember, I dated her brother once. We can get along without you for a couple of days. Thanks. And I promise not to get spoiled by the idle rich. Whoa, that must be my limo. Ciao, babe. Whoa. Watch the grease, right? Hey, Matt. You didn't say nice to meet you. <laughs> shut up, Ira. Hey, who are you to tell Ira Stolzer to shut up? You think you're better than Ira Stolzer? No way. Nice to meet you, boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Well, at least I have a neck. <laughs> what did you say? I was talking to him. <laughs> Hello? Johnny? Ira? Come on, guys, let me out. Children, Mr. Levenstein has brought a very special treat for you today. One of football's all-time greats is here to introduce our city's Score Big with Education program. Let's give a big round of applause to four-time Super Bowl winner, Terry Bradshaw. Let's get a shot of Terry with one of the kids. Where's the uh, nice to meet you boy? Bring him up here. Yes. Nice to meet you, Terry Bradshaw. Nice to meet you, kid. You sure are a little bitty fella, aren't you? At least I have a neck. <laughs> Did you hear that? At least I have a neck. I love this kid. Come here. Let's take some pictures. Hey, you know, you should know a lot of important people. I just loaned Donald Trump a quarter for the phone. Oh, that's money you'll never see again. <laughs> 
I love this Armani tux. I'm so glad I bought it for you. You bought this for me? Don't worry, I got a deal. I know someone at Armani. Who? Armani. <laughs> Besides, you're gonna get a lot of wear out of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Table for two right this way. Thank you. Stop it. Thanks. You know, I have been to Palm Beach a hundred times, but this time it's special. You make it special. Well, you're pretty special yourself. You know, this has been great. I wish that we could stay longer. Good news. We can. Can what? We could stay an extra night and then go to Jamaica. My friend has a place there. Jamaica? Christy, I gotta get back. They need me. Why don't you let Claire decide how much she needs you? Give her a call. I'll bet she says yes. <laughs> Thanks. You know, mine's in my other tux, so... <laughs> I'm coming. Roman customizing. Oh, hey, Joe. No, 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 no. Everything's fine. Look, Clara, do you think you could spare me for a couple more days? Because, um, Christy wants me to go to Jamaica. A couple of days in Jamaica? A couple of days in Jamaica. More time for us. Claire, Mr. Krause is going to charge us for a rental car if his Dodge isn't done by five. Hang on a second, Joe. Okay, is that Joe? Oh, tell him thanks for his stupid, life-threatening advice. Matt says thanks. Maybe when you get back, you could have my legs broken. What is his problem? Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Oh, and he wants to say hi. Hi, Joe. When are you coming back? Probably the middle of next week, buddy. When are you going to help me with my size project? Oh, geez. You know what? Some stuff came up, and I might not be able to get back in time, Andy. Thanks for nothing. Maybe I'll get my new friend Terry Bradshaw to help me. <laughs> Don't worry about him. You know, maybe I should come back, Claire. Oh, no, no, no. You go ahead. You and Christy have a good time. If there's anything I've learned, it's you're only young ones. Tell that to share. <laughs> All right, well, uh, then thanks. I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye. I am so glad that you're staying. This is the best time that I've ever had. This has been great. <laughs> You know, as long as we have the time, we could go down to Spain for the running of the bulls. I can't do that. Well, you don't have to run. You can just watch. <laughs> He's been with the family for years. Look, would you hate me if I told you that I didn't want to go? Yes. No, I mean, I really got to get back. But why? Claire said that they're fine without you. Yeah, but it wasn't what she said. It was what I heard. I mean, the garage is falling apart. And he's pretending that Terry Bradshaw is his new best friend. How weird is that? Joe. It is your life. They got along without you before. They can do it for a few more days or weeks or whatever. Whatever? Christy, I can't just run off for whatever. I have responsibilities. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> but what about us? I want us to be together. Then why don't you come back to Philly? What? Yeah, I mean, it's my turn to plan our date anyway, you know? I picked the car show and you picked the art gallery. Batting cage, Palm Beach. Now, you know, I picked the garage. I don't know. Pamplona for the running the bulls or Philly for the changing of the oil. It's a toss-up. <laughs> Not now, James. I'm serious, Christy. I'd love to go to Spain with you and chase some bulls around. I mean, who wouldn't? But, you know, it just really wouldn't be fair to Claire. Oh, come on, Joe. You don't owe Claire anything. I mean, she's living the life she chose. If she wanted to, she could have married my brother instead of running off with some loser. Oh, Joe, I'm so sorry. I did not mean that. I'm sure your dad was a great guy. No, you were right the first time. To me, he was a loser. But it wasn't because he ended up working in a garage. My dad became a loser the day that he walked out on me. And I'm not going to do that to Matt or Andy. Now I got to get back. Home. Would it make a difference if I told you there's an island off Spain where everyone goes naked? <laughs> Well, it was nice to meet you. I think I'm going to be able to get it to you by Tuesday. Maybe earlier. Let me get right back to you. Joe, I thought you'd be in Jamaica. Yeah, well, I had some work to do. Well, uh, maybe you should get to it then. How's your gray hair? 
just went away. <laughs> ah, Jamaica boy. Uh. What's up? Did you forget your sunblock? Hi, Lou. Joe, look at the bright side. No one in the history of this world has ever been happy with a rich blonde. Except maybe that guy Siegfried. Or is that Roy? I can never keep him straight. Isn't there a break drum you should be beating? Hey, hey, you went out of your league. The glass slipper didn't fit. Sometimes you touch the stove. Ooh, it's hot. Boo-hoo. When's Christy coming back? I don't know. Maybe never. Good. I was getting tired of laughing at her cornball jokes. So you almost married Christy's brother, huh? Yeah. Any regrets? Oh, one, he talked me into going to this crazy island off of Spain. Boy, did I get a sunburn. <laughs> but all in all, I'd have to say I am pretty happy with my life. I don't think I'm going to have any regrets either. You know, it's funny. On the flight back, I thought that I'd be eating my heart out over Christy. But all I could think about was helping Andy out with this stupid little science project. Joe. Yeah. We got to talk. And see, like, the cool thing is, is that the electricity comes from the batter, runs down the wire, and it cooks the hot dog. It just takes a little while, that's all. You got nothing. <laughs> Hey, Matt. How you doing? Fine. We understand your little brother is best friends with Terry Bradshaw. Yeah, that, that's right. Sure would be nice to meet him. What did you just say? <laughs> did you just say it'd be nice to meet him? Is that what you just said? Who are you, the nice to meet him boy? <laughs> say it again. Say, nice to meet him. 